I love the uh, the introduction to Living Things, how it sort of gradually builds. Um, and there's some fantastic sounds on the on this track, Thank you. but also on the album. And um, w one of the things that I think about a lot of bands these days that I've really I, I lose patience with almost is that they don't spend enough time on getting quality sounds. I always think of like really standout bands like Kraftwerk. Mm. You listen to those albums and the sounds are still unique and that's what makes them so powerful. Definitely. And, and, and I think that's a real strength of the album and this, this is the first track that it really kind of occurred to me how, how powerful and how, how good the sounds are. Did you spend a lot of time getting those sounds right? Huge amount of time because that's one of the things, especially with electronic music, you know, you've got to do everything as uniquely as possible. Make your sounds yourself. If you're doing, going to use presets even even in demo stages, at least mess about with them, make them something that, that's your own. But very rarely will I stick with it, with any kind of preset unless it's like a a vocal, um, like a choir sound or something like that. That there's no way I can do it myself, and I'm not going to try. Um, you know, this is the only time I'd probably use something that is technically a preset. Um, other than that, you know, it's, it, it's you hear so many people sound so similar to to each other because they use the same software and they use the same sounds with a bit of a tweak here and there, and it's just boring. I hate most music because of it. <laughs> um, um, I try. Hopefully, hopefully, it. Yeah, like what you're saying. Hopefully, that's true. You know, it does, what I've done here with Steve does sound more unique these days than ever, probably. Hopefully. It sounds good to me. Um, there's a um, there's a female backing vocal on the track as well, and I wondered where that came from. Oh, well, that's my friend Jana Shotsova, who's from Slovakia, and she uh, also works at Spitalfields Market. That's how I met her. And she's, she's always going around the office singing silly songs and things. And I thought, oh, she's got a fantastic voice, actually. And she sh she knows she has, but I think that she's maybe a bit shy about it sometimes, apart from when she's in the office. Um, anyway, I persuaded her to come here and record some singing for me for this song. And, um, and after a couple of glasses of wine, she was happy <laughs> enough to do so. And uh, I think the results are fantastic. But also, I, I put her through some quite weird sound mangling effects, so it sounds a bit doesn't sound straight too straightforward because it's easy to to have that sort of female backing singer sound, like say the Pet Shop Boys use so often. But I didn't I didn't want to do that. It had to be something more interesting. So I put her through some appropriately low grade sounding. Uh, effects and uh, she hasn't heard the finished results yet actually so I wonder what she's going to think <laughs> but I really like it anyway